Hey everyone, so today I'm gonna to be testing Tryon Beauty Works X Molly May, the Waver Kit Limited Edition. I've only tried it once. So you get the little mat, which just says Beauty Works. These are so sort of handy and it doesn't move because it's silicone. You get this little kit and inside you get a comb. And you get eight clips, but two of them aren't in here because I always use them when I do my makeup. You have the actual tool. So I'm actually just gonna do it. And I did it in September. It did come out okay. I also don't fully remember. So it just, it's actually really fancy because it um has like a little digital display thing. So I'm gonna hold this on. It says 100. 80. I don't know, like 200? I'm not sure. This is like my natural hair. If I lift this up, the underneath is like a lot more wavy. And then the on top is quite like frizzy and flat. So I don't tend to wear it natural unless I've put product in it. If there's product in it, then I wear it natural. So I'm just going to brush this out. I'm just going to stick some dry shampoo throughout it. Okay, so what I'll normally do whenever I straighten, curl, yeah, just those two, my hair, I'll get one of these. And I'm going to go about like here, twist it, and do that. There's two ways you can use it. You can either do it on top and go down that way. And I think that way is a bit more messy looking like it's a bit more like beachy kind of vibes or you can do it this way so that way you can see because obviously it opens like that um so if you do it this way you can see exactly where you're putting them because you can see that you're putting it exactly where the last dent was whereas when you do it this way you can't really see, so it ends up becoming more like a beachy wave. I don't just start from the back or the front, I guess I should start from the back. I'm gonna grab like a chunk like that, maybe less. And then just close it. I kind of am pushing it closed too, so it's actually closed. And then lift and put it into like the same bit. I'm gonna turn it up to the highest actually. So do you see how because I've, I'm doing it this way around, I can see exactly where the last, like then it literally just falls into place, like it goes exactly where you need it. You can kind of see, and then throw that back and go on to the next bit. Obviously as well, as another thing, you can use like a fine tooth comb to get every little knot out. When I lift it, it like goes into the next one so easy. Also, when I did this last time, I did it at like 11 pm, and then obviously I slept in it, and then it was the next day. So, this is my first time properly doing it like during the day. I feel like I would like to try one that's a bigger like that has bigger barrels and isn't as small of a barrel as this because it was smaller than I expected it to be. Um, I thought the barrel was going to be like, I think these look like about one inch barrels. But yeah, I did think they were going to be thicker. I thought it was going to be like a chunk, on the chunky ones and it isn't. So just bear that in mind. I never really know how long to hold it on each section. It's so satisfying to do though. Like, it's so easy to do. Right, so this is this whole side done. Now, for this side, I don't know if I should do it with my left hand instead. How should I go about this? Maybe I'll just use my other hand. Maybe that would be smarter. Because it isn't that hard of a heat product to use by hands. I'm doing it sideways, I'm not doing it on top. I've just noticed. I feel like when it falls, it's fine. It just gives it like a different 
look. Look, look how easy that is. Actually insane, like, it's just like the easiest thing. Okay, I'm gonna go and do the other layer, because, like the next layer because it's gonna be the exact same thing. I'll come back when we're on the top section and we can talk about it. So, I've done these two layers. Also, another thing with doing it this way around, like that way, is that it kind of keeps it quite flat. If you do, because you're doing the, the first piece is like an under, it's like a swoop down, it's like a, how do I word this? You know it goes like zoom, 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 zoom. If you do it this way, the first piece is going to be like a bump. If you do it this way, the first piece is going to be an under. So it kind of keeps it quite flat on top, which I like. So now we're onto the top pieces. We're going to throw this back. Something I should probably point out. <laughs> this looks hilarious. I have these really short little bits, which I didn't have last time I did this. So that would be interesting. I think I'm... So what I did last time, which I think we're going to do again, but I can't remember what I did. So for the front pieces, I did it this way around. So it gives the volume. I basically did this for the first one at the top. So the first one's a bump, so I got like volume. And then after that first one, I twisted it back around so that I could actually see where I was putting it. Um, so I'm definitely doing that for at least, I'd say like this part, this amount. But for this rest of it, I'm not sure whether to do it that way or to do what I've been doing. I think I'm going to do what I've been doing so that it still looks all the same on top. It's nice and flat on top. And then just the front has more volume, I think is how I'm going to do it. So, because obviously I'm on top so I can get closer. And then for this front bit, should I just do it as one? Yeah. I'm going to use it the other way so that I get the bump at the front. This is terrifying, I can't see. Oh, that's hot. Okay, take it off and then twist it. Because I've already, you see how I've already got a bump? I've got that bump at the front now. I've twisted it over and I'm gonna place this. This is terrifying. This is what I did last time. Then place it in. Ah. It's because it's so little this time. Place it in like that. So I'm in that same bump. So now I can actually see where I'm going with it. I don't know how this is going to turn out because of my front little bits. But we'll see. <laughs> so as you can see, like, the rest of it's more flat. But then this front piece has a little kink in it to give my hair the volume. Right, and now we're going to go on to this side. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing with that front piece again. Hopefully it'll be a bit easier on this side. Okay, and then... Yeah, definitely it was easier on this side. So that's all the bits waved, so I'm gonna turn it off. So now, I'm assuming, is when I'm supposed to use the comb. Um, I'm not sure which way to do this, whether to put the comb through it first or to put some oil through it and then comb it. I guess comb would make sense first than putting oil in if it goes frizzy. So I'm just gonna do it gently, um, cause obviously you wanna break it up a bit but you don't want it to be too, like, lack of explained, like you can see already, my hair goes really frizzy from things like this. I don't think I combed it last time because I was going to bed straight away. So I did it, went to sleep. So I think I probably didn't comb it because I was like, I'm going to bed anyway, so I may as well leave it. I don't want to comb it too much, just kind of the underneath bits. And then I'm going to get my Mythic Oil. 
and run that over it as well because like I said I'm frizzy hair you can obviously just use I've got nails on so I just use my nails a little bit as well okay I like this so this is how it has turned out it looks great definitely I'm pretty sure it looks better than when I did it last time but I've also got more layers in my hair this time so it's not as like heavy i'm actually like very impressed like i said i've used this once so it's not a full-on first impression this is how it's turned out i really like it i think the barrel size is actually really really nice i think it would nice would be quite nice to have one that's bigger so i can um like they do them i just need to get one um just so it's a bit more of like a big wave rather than like little ones i would quite like to try that um obviously the actual thing is so pretty so yeah i don't use it that often to be honest i more straighten and curl my hair than wave it i like it but i just don't think it's going to be like a super super common use because my hair is quite long but like obviously when you do this it really brings the height up i think that these wavers look really really good when you have like extensions in or you have really long hair like really long thick hair i think these look really really good but I think with my length, it's it's kind of at that weird length where it's like, it's not, it is long, but then you don't get that same effect with it that you do when you have extensions down to your bum. Like that really nice sleek, wavy effect. I don't get that with this. And then it's probably a mixture between my hair type and the length of my hair. If you enjoyed this video, then please sure subscribe, like and comment. I've been talking quietly as well because my mum's next door and you know when it's like she only has the radio on like if she was like pouring in the kitchen i'd be louder but because she's just in the living room which is literally behind that wall with the radio on it's just like really like a really awkward silence to have to film because i know she's home and it's silent everywhere in the flat and i will see you in my next video also i should be posting monday wednesday friday i think so...